water, and sanitation. Two things that everybody needs on a daily basis. But millions of people do not have access to a toilet or clean drinking water. Although a new report by the World Health Organization and UNICEF says things are looking up, and that since 1990, almost 2 billion people gained access to improved water and sanitation, there is still room for concern, especially in rural areas. We're tremendously concerned with sanitation. We're seeing that progress seems to be stopped at about 2.5 billion people, um, which we saw in the last report as well. Um, but more concerning is that 1 billion people of those 2.5 have no choice but to openly defecate. So these are people that are going sort of to the bathroom in fields, in bushes, um, along gutters, on roadsides, which is really causing a health hazard not only to themselves but to the community. So we're concerned about the health implications of that. Access to clean water and improved sanitation facilities prevents the transmission of deadly diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis A, and typhoid to get a responsible for thousands of deaths every day. Overall, we've got to do something about these populations that are hidden in the corners, about the vulnerable and the marginalized. Women and children in households without running water often spend hours each day collecting it, a task that takes so much time it keeps girls from attending school and women from contributing to the community. Eight out of ten people without access to an improved water source are still living in rural areas. And within urban areas we're seeing, for example, also on drinking water, we're seeing that many of the poor people in cities are, are, have no choice but to access water in, in sort of ad hoc ways through pay-per-go kiosks, while the wealthy are able to, to access their water through a, the, you know, a pipe into the home system. To achieve a world where everyone can eat, drink and go to the toilet with dignity and without the fear of contracting diseases or foregoing safety and privacy, the post-2015 development agenda should focus on eliminating the disparity between rural and urban populations, according to the report. As with the joint effort of the international community, the simple luxuries of a toilet and running water can become reality for everyone. This is Shari Naiman for South South News, reporting from New York.